what is glutathione? Glutathione is a very powerful antioxidant. It is actually produced by our liver. We also see it in sulfur rich foods and a lot of vegetables. Glutathione primarily has three essential amino acids. So that's the glycine, we have the glutamate and the cysteine. The reason we need antioxidants like glutathione is to fight oxidants, to fight free radicals, to detoxify our body. So whenever I consume something which my body doesn't like or is toxic, the antioxidants work to neutralize it. So my normal tissues are not damaged. Normally our liver recycles a lot of the glutathione that is consumed. So our liver can regenerate glutathione. Now, as we get older, the ability of our body to make glutathione goes down with age. Also depends on the lifestyle. So if you smoke or we have a very high stress life, not sleeping enough, naturally we're consuming a lot more of these antioxidants and liver cannot keep up. If you had a recent hospitalization, now the free radicals are free to cause damage to our tissues. So that's why it's important to maintain optimal antioxidant level. So how does glutathione work? So glutathione, like I said, is an antioxidant. We can take it as a pill or a capsule, and we can also get it as an IV or an intramuscular injection. Oral form of glutathione is not very effective because we generally don't absorb enough of it to actually make a difference. So intramuscular injections or IV is the better way of getting antioxidant levels to an optimal level. When we do glutathione with an injection, it is actually a very concentrated form and you just need about a small 1 ml dose and that should be enough for several weeks. When we do give glutathione, it enhances our body's ability to combat oxidative stress, neutralize free radicals and also promotes our overall health. So let's dive into what are some of the, the benefits of glutathione injection. The most common one I see this getting used for is lightening of skin. So skin health and brightening. I've seen people who are very obsessed with having a clear, light skin will inject a lot of glutathione. Not for antioxidant benefits, but just to lighten the skin. It's used actually is quite prevalent in the Philippines and also in India. The way it works is that it, it blocks an enzyme called tyrosinase, and tyrosinase is the one that produces melanin, which is the dark pigment our skin has. The melanin is not a bad guy, so melanin helps our protect our skin from sunlight. So we do need uh, melanin. Now, there are times where you can have too much melanin in certain areas, which can cause hyperpigmentation. That typically happens from sun damage. We also call them like eight spots or sun spots. You can also have melasma where you have uneven levels of melanin in different tissues. When you do give glutathione, it reduces the amount of melanin, so the whole skin becomes much lighter. It looks youthful, it looks younger. Now that being said, I generally do not recommend glutathione injections for skin lightening purposes. And the reason for it is that there is an association of glutathione use injection primarily, high doses, with the melanoma, which is a cancer of the skin. Especially if somebody has melanoma, and injects glutathione, the risk of that melanoma becoming widespread, which we call metastatic melanoma, is much higher. Also, uh, risk of hepatocellular cancer or liver cancer is high in countries where the widespread use of glutathione for skin lightening purposes is used. So it's a good antioxidant, but if we overdo it, you will get into that negative territory. So I don't recommend it for skin lightening purposes. I don't recommend at least very high doses of it for skin lightening purposes. The second one would be immune system. The glutathione again helps support our immune system, enhances its function, and primarily the way it works is that it prevents our cells from damage by free radicals. Especially if you have recurrent infections, a lot of glutathione is being consumed because it's an antioxidant, so it, your risk of getting future infection again is higher. So glutathione can really help boost immune system and uh, if you're dealing with recurrent infections, your probably glutathione levels are really low. So optimizing them with the intramuscular injection is a good way to go. The third benefit is detoxification. Liver is important detoxifier in our body. And it does by producing a lot of antioxidants. So glutathione being one of them, the other is alpha lipoic acid, and there are also several others. When we raise our glutathione levels, naturally our liver has this antioxidant and it can protect us from damage from free radicals and ox and also helps remove certain toxins and reduces the risk of liver damage. So if you consume a lot of acetaminophen or Tylenol or ibuprofen, as all those things are bad for the liver. So glutathione can help protect the liver from overuse of uh, aspirin or 
Tylenol, Estaminophen, those type of medications. And also if you consume a lot of alcohol, you probably have some damage to your liver cells. So glutathione can help protect those cells. The next benefit would be anti-aging properties. We age when our cells are dying prematurely, when our cells are not functioning at their optimal level. So naturally having good level of antioxidants means our liver can produce enough glutathione and other antioxidants, keeps our cells healthy because they are protected from free radicals and toxins. So it can help a youth, more youthful look. It can help us function better at a more optimal level. So definitely a good antioxidant to actually have a long life and a good youthful life. Next benefit would be boosting energy levels. So again, if our cells are healthy and they're working good, we feel better, we feel stronger. We need less stimulants like coffee, we smoke less because we generally are feeling much better. So addictions are much lower. Uh, chronic fatigue, especially glutathione, can be very helpful. Now, how do we give glutathione? So before you start injecting yourself, I know these things are available online. You should always consult with the, the medical provider. A physician can look at your medical history, can tell you if the glutathione is appropriate or it's not appropriate. Also, how often do you actually need to do the injections? Also, try to not inject it at home. You do want to have a medical professional in a medical office because it is a medical procedure. So try not to do these things at home because you one, you will not keep track of the dosing. That dosing can be certainly much higher. And if there is an adverse reaction, again, you want to have this done in a medical setting. How often should you do glutathione? That's a common question that is often asked to me. So there's not really much clinical data where we say, okay, you have to do it once a week, once every month, or once every six months. A lot of it depends on your overall health. How much, what is your level of toxin uh, consumption? For example, if you consume a lot of alcohol on a daily basis, naturally you probably will need a weekly glutathione injections to boost those levels to a certain point. After that, probably a monthly or bi-monthly dosing should be adequate. But at the same time, I would recommend cutting back on alcohol only. I know some people do it daily for like skin lightening, that's too excessive. So generally, most for most individuals, once a month glutathione should be more than enough. You should also focus on boosting your glutathione levels by eating healthier, but at the same time, reducing the consumption of glutathione by your body. So that means sleeping more, which helps raise your growth hormone levels, avoiding alcohol and other toxins that put a burden on your body. Can you combine glutathione with other antioxidants or other multivitamins? Absolutely. So glutathione can be used with uh, vitamin C. It actually tends to enhance its benefit. We also use sometimes uh, vitamin B12 or B complex as well. You can also just use n cysteine. So there are other combination therapies that you can use. And uh, NAD injections are another anti-aging therapy that can be used with glutathione injections. Monitoring, lab testing, there's no really lab test that require us to monitor glutathione. I generally will do a baseline level before we start glutathione level to see how low the glutathione levels are, which is a simple blood test. And after that, we generally base the dosing based on how low the levels are and what are the current needs and consumption levels of the antioxidants. So glutathione is a great medication, great antioxidant, great defense against toxins, but it does have some potential side effects. After a glutathione injection, sometimes you can have a skin rash. You can be allergic to something. Now, typically you're, no one is allergic to glutathione because it's produced by our own body. However, glutathione is processed and it's certain chemicals are added to uh, stabilize it, which can cause an allergic reaction. The risk of a liver cancer, like I said, if you're doing very high doses, and of course, like sometimes nausea and some stomach issues are can happen with higher doses. In summary, glutathione is a good antioxidant. It helps us feel younger, look younger, cleans our skin, makes our cells live longer, and we generally feel overall healthy once our glutathione levels are optimal. If your glutathione levels are really low, you had a blood test done, or you're just feeling very lethargic or chronically fatigued, I would recommend discussing with your medical provider having a glutathione level checked, especially if you drink a lot of alcohol or consume a lot of medications for pain, like ibuprofen, naproxen, or a lot of estaminophen type medications, generally the glutathione levels will be low and then you can improve the health of your cells and the liver by just the simple injection. So that's it on glutathione for today. And thank you so much for watching. This is uh, Dr. Raj Singh from Las Vegas. I'll see you soon in our next video. If you did the content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also uh, comment if there's a certain video you would like us to make. So thank you, see you back in a couple of days. Bye-bye.